Welcome to the right site. Let's get you an account. First thing you're going to need to do is select click here to register first under the make an appointment section from the TWU right site homepage. Once you select click here, it will take you to a window that says create new account. You're going to need to fill in all of the items that have red asterisks next to them. This is information such as email address, your name, your student ID number, um, your native language, anything like that. This is to help us serve you better. You'll notice that it'll ask you to create a password. We suggest that the password you create is the same password that you use for your Texas Women's University email address or to log in to Texas Women's University computers. This way you don't forget. When it asks you about email options, you'll notice that it asks what we would, what kind of emails you would like us to send you. For instance, when you make an appointment, when you modify or change an appointment, when you delete an appointment, when we have announcements, you can feel free to select yes or no for any of the above options. An iCal link is simply a link that allows you to save your appointment to your Google Calendar. If you wish to use this option and have an iCal link included in each of the appointments you make and the email that we send to you, you can select yes. If not, just select no. You also have the option of having us send you text messages along with your email to notify you of anything. If you want to select this, all you have to do is put in your cell phone number and then put in your cell phone carrier. If you wish to opt out of that, you don't have to do anything. Once you've put in all the necessary information, simply select register and you have an account. Once you've created an account with the right site, you'll notice that it takes you to the login page immediately after. Once you've gotten into the login page, all you have to do is put in the email address that you used to create the account and then put in the password that you created. From here, you can feel free to select a schedule to go into right away, including our main schedule, the supplemental instruction schedule, or the right side at night schedule. If you don't have a preference or if you wish to choose later, you can feel free to just leave it to the default main schedule. This will log you into WC Online. WC Online is what we use to handle our schedule. And let's just go over some of the basic features so you understand how to schedule an appointment. First of all, you'll notice some dates up above at the top. Those dates are essentially the dates that you're looking, on, looking at on the schedule. It includes one full week for, starting from the day that you are at currently. If you wish to select a different week, you can always select next week, previous week, or you can simply go to the little calendar icon, click on it, and it'll open up a little calendar that allows you to move between dates, and you can move from month to month or even year to year. For now, we'll just stick with the current week. You're also able to toggle between the different kinds of schedules, just like when you logged in, between the main schedule, the supplemental instruction schedule, or the right side at night schedule. Notice, for instance, if we click on the right side at night schedule, it takes us to a completely different schedule with different tutors. So once you've logged in, now it's time to figure out what appointments are available. What you're looking for is white slots. White slots are the only ones that are currently available. So if you select a white slot with a tutor that you would like to work with, you'll notice that the first thing you need to do is select the type of appointment. The type of appointment tells us exactly what it is that you're looking for. Do you want to meet face-to-face -face at the right site? Do you want to meet synchronously online? Or do you want to just submit a paper for comments? Depending on what you want to do, you need to make sure and select the correct appointment so we know how best to serve you. You can also determine how long you would like your appointment to be. Do you want 30 minutes or do you want a full hour? You need to put in all information that has a red asterisk next to it. It won't let you make an appointment otherwise. Of utmost importance is that you put in your assignment description and any specific questions or concerns that you have so that we can best understand how to serve you when you come in. Once you've finished, you can simply select Save Appointment and you'll have an appointment ready for you. Once you've made your appointment, if you've selected this option in your account, then WC Online will automatically send you an email letting you know that you have an appointment. It may also send you emails reminding you of your appointment times. And you can always log back in to WC Online anytime you need to change or delete an appointment. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call at the right site. We'll see you then.